Hello, welcome to a small parable channel. Today we are going to teach you how to create an interactive virtual classroom. Alright, so first you go to google.com, then you select this, Google Apps, then select Slides, Google.com, Google Apps, Slide, then select blank. Pagkatapos, click nyo lang, delete, click delete. Alright, so after that, you just change the background, choose image, choose Google image search, then search for wall and floor. Right, wall and floor. This time, let's have this. Insert. Right, just uh, choose done afterwards. Then pagkatapos niya, classroom ito ha. So, let's have, since we have the background already, this time let's insert image. Search the web. Since we have already the background, make sure that the image that we are going to insert will be transparent. That means there should be no more background anymore. So let's start with that transparent whiteboard. Right? Let's have this transparent whiteboard. So let's uh, select. one insert just to size it click all right pagkatapos niyan Let's have another image. Transparent bookshelf. Let's have the transparent bookshelf. And let us select this one. Insert. And let's put this bookshelf here. Alright. So, nagustuhan nyo na ang forma. Okay. Select na naman tayo ng books. Search the web. Transparent books. And, let us select this one. Insert. And, let's just put the books here. Let's resize it. Alright. Pwedeng lagyan pa natin ng additional books. So for example, Have this, have this one, like this one. Uh, this one, insert. Just resize it. And let's try to rotate it clockwise. Again, another clockwise. Para hindi siya, hindi ko nagustuhan ang forma niya. Let's have this book na lang. Right, 
so we have the books now for our bookshelf now let's add couch search the web transparent couch And let's have this color. Just put it in here. Just resize it if you want to. And you can also. change it, its color to make it white. Just click, right click, then select format option, then recolor. Make it, for example, make it white. So white. a very white couch anyway I just want to have a couch which is white just like this one just like the white one then after that let's have another image so let's have transparent um, window scene Let us select this one. Insert. Okay. Then let's just resize it if you want it to be smaller, but I want this a bit uh, larger because I want to imagine that the place is so. Um, conducive for learning it's um, the air is freely flowing inside and out all right so just right click and for the order just stand backward so that it would look like that it's part of the wall there it's real all right so if you are satisfied of that already all you have to do is Let me first remove this. Wait, wait, wait. Let me first remove this one book here. Why? Uh, you'll just know later. So let's try to flip this. Rotate clockwise. Oh. Let's rotate for another. Oh, the balloon too. Rotate for another. <laughs> 90 degrees. So, Let's try to flip it horizontally. One. Let. Let's have another couch. Let's replace the couch. Search the web. Transparent couch. I want that couch, which is oblique. I mean. It not facing straight okay let's try this one okay. all right I think this one is the okay now let's just try We can replace this color, recolor again, format options, recolor, make it white, for example. Oh, it's very, very white. Let's have that. Is there any color? Maybe that one is okay now. 
All right, this time, let's have, all right. So if you're going to click it, okay, there are blues around it, right? So I want to remove this one. Just like this, whenever you click on in here, it won't be, uh, it won't appear the blue thing. All right, so all we have to do now is we're going to download this. I'm sorry, file, download, JPEG, image. After that, just have a new presentation or new slide. Then, for the background, choose the image that you have just downloaded. Alright. After that, just wait, done. After that, if you're going to click it, it won't uh, appear. The blue one won't appear anymore. So this time, let's have another image. This time, this image, whenever the student will click it, it will be interactive. Search the web. Let's have transparent crucifix, for example. Let's have this. Insert. Then I want to put the crucifix here. Alright. Then after that, just click then, choose this, insert link. So, I'm going to insert here a link about the gospel reading. So, control C using the keyboard. Just control V using the keyboard again. Then, click apply. And whenever the student click on the crucifix, they will be prompted with this. Okay? Then, after that, I want to have another book. In which, whenever they are going to click on that book, again, they will also be prompted with our, at this time, they will be prompted with our lesson. Okay, so let's have maybe this one, insert, just resize it. Maybe recolor it too because the color of our book for the grade 7 is orange. Let's try orange. Oh, there's no orange here. Let's just have the white. Okay. Just resize it. So that would be our lesson. The science, our science lesson. Just click on that. Then, add link, click add link, or insert link, so our topic about the scientific method here, control C, then control V, apply, okay, then let's have the teacher, insert image, upload from computer, so I have told you already how to remove background, on our previous tutorial so let's just insert right away our teacher here that would be your teacher all right so you have now a classroom that would be your virtual classroom a very interactive one why interactive because we never you click on the crucifix, you'll have the gospel reading. Whenever you click on the book, you are going to be prompted with the lesson. Your lesson, okay? Lesson, alright? So, just place the teacher here. So that, whenever the student click the book, they will be prompted with the topic. Alright, so thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Please share.